Welcome our little vlogging community. This is episode number 36 if I count correctly. Probably not. I never I can never figure out which episode we're on. Isn't that weird? I think it's 37. One of those. We're still exploring local farmer markets for some specific product that we need to mix tonight. And this one here has live music. How awesome is that? Nice and sunny. Dark and rainy. The sun sets over there, so it looks like a nice sunset right now. But then we do have all these dark clouds coming up. There's not a lot of food here, huh? What do you think it's gonna be tonight, Blani? Nice sunset or dark and rainy? What direct that's west? It's gonna be a nice sunset. Blani predicts nice sunset. We'll see in a few hours. Hello audience, welcome to the evening Airstream studio of Blani and David. It's 8 p.m. Um, all these uh, farmer market searches were for quite a specific purpose and we did not find the one thing we were looking for which is this. Luckily one visit to Whole Foods took care of a problem, got, a, got several different kinds. The recipe we're going after is called the Budwig recipe, at least Dr. Axe calls it this way. I think the uh, Original pronunciation is closer to Johanna Butwig. She was a German. Uh, is. Is? She's still alive? Yeah, isn't she? She was a German biochemist and a pharmacist. Okay. She came up with a recipe that dramatically boosts your immune system. How old did she live? Yeah. She. Uh, this doesn't say here. Mm -mm. Alright, so make a guess. I. Uh, 97. A biochemist and a pharmacist that discovered something that really helps your health. What age did they make it to? 97. 94. Oh. Not bad. Mm -mm. So now we're going to make what's called the Budwig or Budwig protocol or Budwig protocol. Starting with the kefir, you have to shake it really well. Six ounces, so that's not a full cup. But and this is how David measures a cup. He gets an actual it's cup. It's a cup. <laughs> but we're gonna make this for two people, so. David, what is kefir? Kefir is a cultured milk. What does that mean? It's very fancy? Nah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Yes, it's milk that goes to opera every day. <laughs> opera? Opera. Or Miss Winfrey. <laughs> that would cul culture the milk as well. <laughs> maybe, maybe the milk goes to Ellen. Four spoons of sprouted. The sprouted part is very important because sprouted is much better for you than non-sprouted. Flaxseed or chia seed. Like tablespoons. Yes. Four tablespoons. So he gets a, a spoon for the table. Well, yeah, it's four tablespoons. <laughs> so we're gonna Look we're gonna Murray. we're gonna uh, use eight. You're not a part of the recipe. Now, what was this five? So what is this? It's sprouted and then ground. Sprouted, up? grounded flax oh. seed. So they were little sprouts and then they ground them up. Yes. Mm. Flax seed is very good for you. A quarter spoon of black pepper. <laughs> You're such a boy. I'm not a boy. I, I cook from the heart. <laughs> you don't need all those measures. One tablespoon of this. I can't read it. 
so I'm not even gonna try. Turmeric. Hmm? Turmeric. I don't know. This is this is very good, uh, fighting off cancer and boosting your immune system. The last part is flaxseed oil, one tablespoon. This looks very pretty right now. Now we mix it all. Consuming this meal one time daily can help rebuild your cell membranes and is also an incredible colon cleanse. It is loaded with probiotics and fermentable fiber that can transform the health of your small intestine and colon. No brainer. Once you've mixed it all, you give it to Blonnie and see what she says. Cheers! Yum. How is it? It's chewy. Do you like but it? But it tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's freaking great. It actually does taste good. My colon is already uh, excited. <laughs> That's for the healthy and cooking part of the day. Now it's time for uh, fan mail. Fan mail. We don't have any fan mail, so that was a very quick fan mail time. <laughs> you know what I also enjoy about engagement sessions? Like the one yesterday? that a lot of them are shot in very different locations. I always told any of my clients that I'll go anywhere and shoot anything. Skydiving, I shot engagement sessions in Michigan. Skydiving? I would go skydiving for an engagement mm -hmm. session. I, I shot them in Michigan before, I shot them skiing, I shot them on the beach, I shot them in the middle of the summer, middle of the winter. I love the variety. I, I, I'm not gonna say I hate going to the same locations because sometimes it's good to have a place that you can rely on but I enjoy the variety like yesterday we went we shot in Philadelphia a million times before and we went to we went to places that were kind of new yesterday didn't you we mean like the couch on the road <laughs> yeah like the you know <laughs> that the sign that the we abandoned have? couch on yeah. the on one of the Philadelphia streets I agree, and I like it when the couples are like um, adventurous enough to lay down on the middle of the sidewalk in Philadelphia. How about those coffee enemas? No coffee enemas. <laughs> Not for me. 